The world's oceans cover 71% of the globe. He who owns the sea owns the world's commerce, and he who owns commerce owns the riches of the earth and itself. This phrase of the famous Corsair Walter Raleigh may contain some exaggeration, but in general it reflects reality. To own the sea, you need a powerful navy, and in the modern world, the main striking force of the military fleet is submarines. It's the power of the submarine fleet to stealthily enter the desired position, strike, and remaining invisible to the enemy, leave the position. In this video, we'll talk about the most powerful submarines of the United States and convincingly show that the submarine fleet of this country has no equal. And if in the 19th century England was called the ruler of the seas, then in the 21st century the ruler of the seas is undoubtedly the USA. And we'll start our story in the literal sense of the word sea wolf, the underwater submarine sea wolf. It's positioned as the best nuclear submarine in the U.S. Navy. In the early 1980s, secret research forced the Pentagon to come to a bad conclusion. The Russian submarine Akula was superior to the basis of the U.S. submarine forces, the submarine class Los Angeles. It was decided to create the biggest, fastest, and quietest, in general, the coolest attack submarine. On October 25, 1989, the first such boat, SSN-21 Seawolf, was laid down, the first of the fourth generation. On July 19, 1997, she was accepted into the U.S. Navy. A total of three such boats were built. In addition to Seawolf, they are SSN-22 Connecticut and SSN-23 Jimmy Carter. Seawolf has 50 heavy 533mm caliber Mark 48 torpedoes or Harpoon anti-ship missiles. The length of the boat is 107.6 meters for SSN-23 Jimmy Carter, 138 meters, the greatest width of 12.2 meters underwater displacement, 9,137 tons for Jimmy Carter, 12,158 tons. Let us tell you at once why the last SSN-23 Jimmy Carter differs so much in dimensions from other Seawolf-class submarines. It's equipped with an additional compartment that allows it to carry unconventional load. It provides the launch and subsequent return of both wired and autonomous descent devices, as well as underwater combat swimmers. In addition, the Jimmy Carter can be equipped with a special communications mast and communication system to meet the high data transfer requirements of network-centric warfare. Seawolf Hull is made of high-strength steel HY-100. This allowed us to reach the limit depth of immersion up to 600 meters or 1,970 feet. The combat deckhouse was of reinforced design for operations in Arctic ice where Soviet ballistic missile submarines were thought to be hiding. The ship's S-6W type water reactor gave the Sea Wolf an extraordinary top speed of 35 knots or 65 kilometers per hour. Russian subs, according to the Pentagon, could no longer get away from the American hunter in principle. However, the more impressive success of the Sea Wolf submarine was its high acoustic stealth. The noise Seawolf became an order of magnitude less than the boat Los Angeles with a level of 95 decibels. Background ocean noise, as noted, averages 90 decibels. To achieve these figures, used a special sound-absorbing coating and abandoned the propeller, replacing it with a water jet propulsion. It provides acoustic stealth even when traveling fast at 35 kilometers an hour or 22 miles per hour. For most existing U.S. submarines, speeds of no more than 10 to 20 kilometers an hour or 6 to 12 miles per hour are acceptable to remain stealthy. A huge spherical hydroacoustic array of 7.3 meters or 24 feet in diameter in the bow of the submarine was supplemented by broadband aperture side antennas and towed TB-16D and TB-29 antennas. The antenna data is transmitted to the BSY-2 combat system, which is capable of simultaneously engaging multiple targets with Mark 48 torpedoes. Thus, Seawolf is the most perfect U.S. hunter of submarines of other countries, stealthy, perfectly armed, high speed, and maneuverable. However, for these exquisite capabilities of the submarine, American taxpayers will have to pay a high price. Almost $5 billion for the submarine, which is three times more expensive than the Los Angeles-class submarines. The Pentagon thought it was too expensive even for such a rich country as the United States, and instead of the planned 29 boats, only three were built. And instead of Seawolf, they decided to create a cheaper version, a light version. So appeared Virginia, a multi-purpose nuclear submarine of the fourth generation. 
The ship's designed to fight submarines at depth, as well as for operations in the coastal zone. In addition to standard armament and equipment, the boat has uninhabited submersibles, an airlock for divers, and a deck mount for a container or ultra-small submarine. For the first time in the world practice, the boat does not have a traditional periscope. Instead, a multifunctional telescopic mast is used on which a TV camera is installed, transmitting the image to the central station monitor via fiber optic cable. To detect underwater minefields, unmanned automatic vehicles capable of operating autonomously for up to 18 hours are on board. Virginia's armament consists of 26 torpedoes launched from four torpedo tubes and 12 launchers for Tomahawk cruise missiles. The submarine is capable of diving to depths of up to 500 meters or 1,640 feet and can reach an underwater speed of 34 knots. The advantages of the ship are a large amount of additional equipment, the absence of the classic periscope and multifunctionality. The disadvantage is more than significant. Despite the acoustic protection, the boat has a rather noisy propeller. Yes, it's not a sea wolf. But since 2004, when SSN 774 Virginia entered service, the fleet has received 21 boats in four series. The last of these, SSN 794 Montana, was delivered to the Navy in June 2022. Three more have been launched and are undergoing trials, and another three are in various stages of construction. A total of 48 submarines are planned, 34 of which have already been ordered and are scheduled to be commissioned by 2030. The cost per submarine averages $2.5 billion. We think that such a large flock of Virginias led by three real sea wolves would tear up any underwater prey, including Russian boris, yeseni, and dolphins armed with intercontinental missiles, which are created with one purpose, to destroy America. Now let's get to the story of strategic underwater missile carriers. They're considered a doomsday weapon. After all, they can destroy the world in 30 minutes and interrupt the history of mankind. And first of all, these are submarines of Ohio type, a series of American strategic nuclear-powered submarines of the third generation, which entered into service from 1981 to 1997. Since 2002, they've been the only type of missile carrier to serve within the U.S. Navy. They are constantly on combat patrol and spend 60% of their time at sea. The series includes a total of 18 submarines, 14 of which carry 20 Trident II D-5 intercontinental ballistic missiles with a target range of 7,800 kilometers or 4,850 miles, and each carrying eight thermonuclear warheads with a yield of 475 kilotons of TNT each. Another four submarines are cruise missile carriers. As of 2016, nine Ohio-class submarines are deployed in the Pacific, and another five are in the Atlantic. The submarine is 170.7 meters or 560 feet long and has a displacement of 18,750 tons. The boat has a single nuclear reactor. It's a double-circuit pressurized water-water reactor type S8G developed by General Electric. Its resource, compared to the previous model, was increased by two times. The core contains nuclear fuel, highly enriched uranium-235. It's enough for approximately 100 million hours of active operation, which is equivalent to a full-range sailing range of 280,000 miles or 450,000 kilometers, and in the economy mode, 800,000 miles or 1,300,000 kilometers. Taking into account the real modes of operation, which have become much more sparing than during the Cold War, the third-generation nuclear submarines can serve without reactor core recharging for up to 30 years and in case of one recharging, 42 to 44 years. The missile carrier can reach speeds underwater of more than 25 knots. That's 46 kilometers an hour or 29 miles per hour. The authors of the National Interest write that one boat like Ohio is capable of destroying 288 targets the size of a city in half an hour, wiping them off the face of the earth. As is clear from the description, this single type of missile carrier in service with the U.S. Navy is obsolete. The first boat of this class was produced more than 40 years ago. And while the Ohio is a third-generation nuclear submarine, the Russians already have fourth-generation missile carriers on active duty. The Columbia-class submarine should correct this imbalance. They're currently in the design stage. The project's lead ship, USS District of Columbia, SSBN 826, was laid down on June 4, 2022. It's scheduled to be commissioned in 2031. 
The project is being designed by the U.S. Electric Boat Shipyard in cooperation with Newport News Shipbuilding. A total of 12 submarines are planned to be built. Each of them will have 16 missile silos with Trident II D5LE missiles. In size, the Columbia-type submarines will be comparable to the Ohio. The submarines will be about 170 meters long or 555 feet long, with a hull diameter of 13 meters or 42.6 feet. Columbia will have a nuclear reactor designed for 42 years of service without reloading, so for the entire life of the submarine. It's planned that during this period, each submarine will go out on patrol 124 times. And in conclusion, some numbers. Today, the United States has 14 strategic missile carriers on combat duty. The total number of missiles on board is 280. The total number of warheads is 2,240. The total TNT equivalent is 1,064,000 kilotons. The Russians in the Pacific, Arctic, and Atlantic Oceans have four Bore-class boats with 16 Bulova missiles each. Maximum range, 9,300 kilometers or 5,800 miles. Number of 6 to 10 warheads of 100 to 150 kilotons each. Seven Dolphin-class boats with 16 R-29RM missiles each. Maximum range, 8,300 kilometers or 5,150 miles. Number of warheads, 10 of 100 kilotons each. Three Squid-class boats with 16 R-29RM missiles. Total, 208 missiles on board. Total number of warheads, up to 2,080 units. The total TNT equivalent is 208,000 kilotons, or almost five times less than the total American salvo. The Russians have 27 multi-purpose nuclear submarines of the Shuka and Barracuda classes, simply put, hunting for American missile carriers. The United States is hunting for Russian missile carriers with 28 Los Angeles-class nuclear submarines and 21 Virginia-class boats. And leading this formidable force are two Sea Wolves. Unfortunately, the SSN-22 Connecticut crashed into a sandbar in the South China Sea in November 2021 and is out of commission until 2027. But even without her, the U.S. has 51 nuclear-powered attack submarines. These figures clearly show that the U.S. was, is, and in the medium term will control the world's oceans and thus control the entire planet. Therefore, Russia, China, and Iran had better behave with more restraint and on this major note, we'll finish our story about America's best nuclear submarines. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss new videos about modern weaponry. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you again soon.